What I really love is variety. I really think that the only thing modern in fashion is to encourage individuality. You know, the length of a skirt doesn't make a girl sexy. As FT celebrates its 25th anniversary, one of the designers who's been there from the very beginning is Mark Jacobs. When I first met this New York native at a garment factory in Toronto in 1986, Jacobs was a fresh-faced 23-year-old who had hair down to his elbows and had just graduated from the prestigious Parsons School of Design. Labeled the whiz kid of the rag trade, Jacobs was a fashion legend in the making and stood out as a designer who wasn't afraid to take risks and refused to take himself too seriously. You know, you've got to have sort of a throwaway attitude about clothing and about jewelry and things like that. I mean, it's not precious. At the end of the day, you take it off and you go to bed, you know? This is really kinky. Like, you it sweat in breathe. this? Yeah, you perspire like Ooh. crazy. Ooh. You sweat like a whore in church, as they say. <laughs> That year, Jacobs and his current business partner, Robert Duffy, launched the Mark Jacobs line, and the label has grown into a global brand with a successful secondary line marked by Mark Jacobs, a range of accessories and fragrances, and more than 100 stores worldwide. Jacobs has received seven major awards from the Council of Fashion Designers of America, including his recent award for Women's Wear Designer of the Year. I don't much believe in prizes for doing the work that I'm so passionate about doing and so grateful for having the opportunity to do. Thank you all. Mark Jacobs is, without question, the American darling of the fashion industry and one of the most talked about designers of New York Fashion Week. Without Mark, New York Fashion Week would be flat as a pancake. He's done a really great job, season after season, reinventing it, making it interesting. He'll end up being one of the best designers America has ever, ever produced. After accepting the position of creative director at Louis Vuitton in 1997, Jacobs turned the luxury luggage company into one of the most prestigious and lucrative labels in the world. His collaboration with the likes of Steven Sprouse, who put his graffiti on the famous bag, was a seminal moment in the archives of fashion history and showed that, once again, Jacobs continued to explore the edges of fashion and never followed the crowd. He's not going with a trend, he's creating a trend. And um, not even to say that his clothes are trendy, because they're not really, they're kind of, some are quite kind of off the cuff and, um, I don't know, it's always fun to see what he's gonna come up with next. Over the years, the 47-year-old designer has struggled with insecurity, has been in and out of rehab for drug and alcohol addiction, and has been the fodder of countless gossip blogs intrigued with his love life. Despite all the ups and downs of his personal life, Jacobs has helped define our sensibility of what makes fashion truly modern, and above all, follows the beat of his own drum. But you just have to have the confidence to take the risks, but everything's a risk. As you say, stepping out on the street is a risk. <laughs> Look, you know? this fire escape could give way any minute. We could be like, you know, street pizza. <laughs> oh, good. I love living dangerously. <laughs> okay. On right. the edge. Hold the anchovies, baby. <laughs> Behind the scenes access. Okay, so did you hear that? Live updates. Madonna and Lady Gaga are confirmed to be here. Don't tell too many people. It's gonna be a mob scene. Fashiontelevision.com, your portal to fashion on the web.